Welcome back to Let's Play Kirby 64. D D D D D Neo Star is the planet we are at now, and we're gonna go ahead and finish it today. Yes, the rock levels. I love rock levels. So we're gonna need needle for this <laughs> first part here. Needle and stone. I mean, any needle will work, but we'll go Whoa. with needle and stone especially. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That's cool. I don't even need to steer. I'm just holding the button and he's I, going. I was, I was just about to say, just autopilot. And the drill goes on forever. Oh my god, this is the drill that'll pierce the heavens! Yes! This is a literal drill drill that will pierce the heavens, yes. Yes! Never saw Gurren Logan. Oh, you need to! I don't know, it just didn't appeal to me. All the, all the popular mainstream animes, most of them I don't care for. I only go for niche, ones that are not well-known. You know, I know a series called Shimokita Glory Days, and uh, it was only released in Japan uh, during the months of, uh, two, I think it was uh, 2012 is when it aired, maybe 2009, I don't remember, but uh, it was after midnight because of its gratuitous nudity scenes, and the best part was is that it wasn't an anime at all, it was a live-action show. My favorite anime out of all my friends has to be School Days for its amazing plot. Yes. I just want to get out of the fucking school, man. <laughs> I'm sick. I'm sick of everything being in a school. I am that's sick what's of it. so relatable. Duh. No, man. I'm done with. The, I'm done with the fucking school settings. It'll never Can't. end. It, it, I know it'll never end, because it as long as there's end. school, there's gonna be school anime, but it's always in the school! That's why I love just bashing on them, you know, when I did reviews, that's funny. Uh, where I always say it's school, but with a new coat of paint. It's kind of one of those, it takes place in a school, but... Assassin's in Classroom takes place in a school, but... There's that, a guy trying actually, to kill everyone! That one's hilariously solid. So, I can definitely recommend Ass Class. Ooh, pizza. Alright, so uh, Adeline here is going to uh, show either us a, a pizza, a parasol, or a uh, top hat. And we gotta set up the blocks in just a way. So. Oh, so we have to make a pizza? We have to make a pizza. Oh, God, how do you do that? With a square. Some time. Gotta do it just right. I mean, why can't she create her own fucking pizza? Yeah, I don't know why that pizza's not coming to life, but maybe it's just a hint that this is <laughs> how to get the next crystal shard. I thought she was gonna say, have the crystal power up. Not crystal. Have the pizza power up, Kirby. Ah, I fucked that all up. I'm Wait sorry. a minute, good, 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 good question. Why doesn't she just paint us the crystal shards? Oh my god, you're right. Maybe it doesn't work like that. Uh, maybe it's something like, uh, uh, well, let's, let's reference uh, another anime. What if it is like alchemy? What if it has to exist first before it can be used and you're just borrowing power from something else? Hmm. Well, uh, pizza's done. That's a pizza? That's the pizza with the bite taken out of it. Oh. Well, if it's that a Kirby, if it's a Kirby bite, he's putting that whole thing in his mouth. It's like, wait, you can take pieces off of a pizza? Oh. Like, wait, you can, like, cut it into... Why would you... <laughs> Maybe it's like the, the pizza place from Breaking Bad. They don't cut their pizzas. It's just one big pie. I mean, it's like uh, cutting a sandwich. Uh, Kirby, no! <laughs> Kirby learns that knives exist. You mean people can't eat this whole thing? They have well, well, they're already chewing it. Isn't that already like? I mean, why the fuck? I mean, it's close enough, right? But luckily, he doesn't eat entire cakes. Oh, thank God! At least he has some restraint. He has he has individual slices because well, it's it's just rude. Anyway, there's your uh, there's your other third shard just hiding in there for you. Was there a star bit above that? I don't think so. I think it's just supposed to be hiding there. Hee <laughs> hee. Because that's kind of cryptic. A little bit. But, uh... Well, anyway, here's an easy easter egg. K... I... R... B... Y... 
slash D E S U. Look, why for Yoshi? It's a Yoshi reference. Oh, okay. Nothing cool down there, but you know, it's just really high platforms. Don't fall off. No, but hey, that's neat. Just, just neat. Thanks, Hal. You're not dead. Mystery character enemy card. Now for uh, the magma one. Oh, good. I'm glad there's a fire level in a Kirby game. I love those. Those are bad. Especially when you die all the time, then they're really funny. Uh -huh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joshing you, my friend. I do not like to see it when you suck at video games. I, ha I have been thoroughly joshed then, sir. <laughs> God, I sound like such a dick. I'm sorry. I take it all back. Again, okay, we've been friends for over ten years. So. <laughs> it's, it's it's the kind of stuff that friends who've been friends for ten years can say. Uh, true. <laughs> but it's now like, it's, it's, like, by, it's like by the way, I hate you and I hope you die. Oh. So ah! same, same time next week. Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. For some reason, I thought that fireball like stopped you in midair and you were about to die. I know one thing that'll piss you off, though. Mmm, what's that? Uh, do I gotta run up with three spoilers? The first victim is- Fuck off. Don't ever spoil games, kids. You're an asshole, and you will forever be labeled an asshole by not only the consumers, by the, but by the companies as well. I I'm, a I'm gonna block you on Twitter. Screw this Kirby episode, I'm just gonna go block you. I don't even give a shit about Dog and Rapa 3 right now, man. <laughs> Oh! Hi, DDD. Can you swim in lava? We got DDD. He's got a hammer. Hmm, but... Oh. Okay. I was about to say, why do we need his hammer for a lava stage, but it's just for the rocks. Just for the rocks. You telling me There's Kirby has no hammer yet? Yeah, no hammer ability in this game. So many things missing. Oh, wow. You could just smash right through it. I didn't think that was a thing. But you need a wind-up for that, which takes time. Oh, okay. Can't really do it on the upper ones. Alright. It's pretty easy. Making our way through here. But I am waiting for this entire thing to collapse as soon as you hit this last support beam. Yeah, no shit, right? <laughs> I think it's part of a larger... Even then, once we break that, it should be falling. Yeah, you should not be alive right now. Like, Kirby should be yelling, is that the support beam to the house? And then the entire thing collapses. How many times are you going to make that joke? I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite episodes. Well, and Eddie uh, slowly turned out to be one of the funniest shows on Cartoon Network. And speaking of funny... <laughs> Wake uh, up, oh. Dedede! What? Oh. <laughs> okay, that, that was a little charming. I like that. All right, well, that's... Just the whole thing over again, so let's skip forward ahead. Besides, we missed something pretty crucial. Oh, seriously? Oh. Holy crap, really? Yep. Wow. Huh, I actually didn't expect them to hide something like that, because most of the crystal shards have just been out in the open. You just have to find out how to get to them. But that one was actually really well hidden. It was. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Still can't escape that dragon. Nah, not quite. Assholes. <laughs> okay, that, that was really good. Nice interaction between the two. I mean, DDD is not a bad guy. He, he's, he's just drawn that way, okay? It's one of those situations. Well, uh, sometimes you gotta be a dick when you're in a position of power like that, you know? True. But, but when it comes down to it, when the chips are down, your back is against the wall, he comes through. True. By the way, we got the flame sword again. Yes! Love the flame sword. Okay, just like the most natural thing in the world for him to carry. <laughs> he needs a gigantic sheath. We're going to make this as Japan as possible. I still like having infinite swords, though. Let's constantly throw them at your enemies. <laughs> Let's see, if we, put, if we put sword and rock together, we get Tetsaiga! Awesome! There's something for you old schoolers out there. If we put together Cutter and Psy, we get 
Tetsuo! <laughs> oh god, no, fire! fire. Watch Takeda again for the first time in years. And... <laughs> ah, it's so great. Very fucked up, though. As it should be. Have you seen it? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. What'd you do? We need something. Uh, is that the is that the hint? No, nah, there's no hint there. But what I do want to do is I still want to finish this level though. Okay. Let's we'll finish it because that was a crystal shard that we missed. We need a power we didn't have. So oh my and, god! We'll go ahead and do this auto scroll section before we get that last one. With God, we need Whoa. some we need some danger ah. music. It's like ah, oh, oh no oh god, no oh god, no no no. 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 <laughs> Wow, that was so cheap! That fucking dragon, man. <laughs> <laughs> you get blowing your back, too. Like, the fire wasn't doing any damage, but it was still hurting you. I think I had some invincibility, uh... So, uh, why don't we go ahead and do this? Go ahead and use the double fire again, and... <laughs> it just Off reminds me of... Es escaping from the, uh... Oh god, what's it called? I can't remember. This just reminds me of Aladdin. Escaping from all the lava and shit. <laughs> from that big tiger thing? Yeah! Is it? Yeah. Infidels! Now you'll never see the light of day! <laughs> <laughs> oh then my Crash, god. Then Crash Bandicoot chase music starts playing. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that was the perfect combination. That was my childhood. That was Crash Bandicoot hear, Disney movies. You just hear Abu go, Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> and he spins around a lot. Jafar has a big J on his forehead. <laughs> Jafar is Dr. Neo Cortex. I can see it. Jasmine's on her laptop. <laughs> <laughs> Seventh century uh, uh, Middle East. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, technology. What would uh, what would Raja be? He's got to be so. Oh, Tiny the Tiger. Of course. There we go. Yeah. Uh, let's see. The, uh, the, the Sultan can be uh, Enjin, the guy with half a face. Uh, I think the genie can be Ripper Roo. I think we can all agree on that. <laughs> uh, he's Aku Aku. <laughs> yes. Okay, never Gee. mind. The carpet is Ripper Roo. <laughs> oh. Actually. Technically, if we were to go by rules, the carpet would be polar. Oh, yeah, that would work. Anyway, as you can see, we missed that second shard right in there, so we're going to go have to get a special power. And to do that, the easiest way to do that is to go all the way over to stage one. Okay, I, two. I, I feel kind of really stupid, but I just found out that those little markings on the bookmarks were the shards. <laughs> well... Glad we found that out now rather than later. I I just found that out and I feel so stupid, but That's that you know, that's that's okay, man. That's okay. I'm not all that mad. Because oh, I mean... we, well, we've been we've been getting all the shards all this time, haven't given you a chance to look, so it's it's all right. It's okay, man. I, that, I'm, I don't blame you. I'm not, I'm not mad. <laughs> you okay. fucking idiot. <laughs> you said that not me. I I, 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 be I, know. I believe I in know. you, man. Anyway, double ice. We turn into a gigantic snowball. Oh, cool! <laughs> That's so it's nice. A, it's a Katamari type thing. Anyway, we need ice to open up that special block. Oh, okay. Well, let's see how far it can get us here. No, not very far. No, yeah, not too far. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Did that actually deflect anything, or... Did my eyes deceive me there? It, it can deflect rocks, but it, not lava. Ooh. If, you, if you didn't get this uh, a snowball, no matter how bad. Oh, Jesus, dude! Ah. Oh yeah, yeah, it's. Uh, I'm not proud of that performance. That's, yeah, uh, that's that's harsh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Game over. Yeah, it was our last life. Oh my god! I don't think I've. <laughs> I didn't even know game over screens existed in Kirby. We've been to some of them. Kirby's Adventure, especially. Oh, well, true. Really, most of the time it's carelessness, not me being, you know, not the game being hard. Well, the <laughs> game is challenging, but, you know, it's not 
This ain't Dark Souls, okay? If anybody compares Kirby to Dark Souls except being the anti-Dark Souls, then... <laughs> then shut up. <laughs> Kirby is the Dark Souls of piss-easy Nintendo games. God. I actually... I I... No! Uh... Dude! Oh, well... Okay, it turned into a melting ice cube. Whoa. That is kind of cool. I, and I think any ice ability should be okay. I'm pretty sure, at least. Hopefully, and just as long as you don't lose it. And by the way, I'm going to take back what I said about piss-easy Nintendo games. When I was playing Triple Deluxe, that game kicked my ass in some levels. Samus Returns is kicking my ass right now. Yeah, but I blame that on bullshit enemies. I'm still sour over that, I'm sorry. You, you gotta do the counter, man. You gotta do the counter. I know, Go. but not fast oh, enough, God. and please. you're about to no. die. Please, no. Please, no. Please, no. I wouldn't cut here if I didn't... No! Oh. You singed your toes, and you died. I singed my toe when my heart stopped. Well, gotta go back and get more ice. All right, there we go again. Woo! All right. It's nearly ice warp again. Now we got it. We're back to D2D, and everything's all good. And yeah, we're not gonna die this time either. Now, ah. <laughs> I always, we have more health. I always wait for it. I always wait for the. We're fine. Ow. We're fine. Not fine. Not fine. Okay. We got ice. We got All right. We got baddies. Okay, we're Progress good. Progress is being made. I I'm, I'm, I'm feeling confident this time. There's a sand, well, forget the sandwich. We don't need it. Now we're wasting so much time on this one shard. <laughs> ah. Oh my god. I wish I had the sandwich. I saw it coming, too. It's like Final ah! Destination. <laughs> I see you getting hit in your future. Get the meat. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, got, I know I'm yelling at post you to <laughs> to get the meat, but do it. Well, it's a pre me, I oh. think. I mean... Oh, that's well, right. That's... It's, it's past you and present you. And... Technically, future me watching this now. Oh, time travel is hard. We got all the spectrums of time, just all yelling at you to get the meat. Kirby, do it. <laughs> and then I knew right then and there I had to grab the meat. <laughs> okay. Anyway, ice, bam. That was it. Ah, that right there. That was it. That was it. That was the whole oh thing. God, that's that's stupid. I know. Let's go ahead and combine ice and electric and see what we get. A fridge. Yay! Some people might have been clamoring for this, but that is actually edible food that you can eat. Seriously? Oh my yeah, gosh! See? Just got health back. Oh! <laughs> and they double as attacks, right? I don't know. It'd be cool if they did, but we don't need <laughs> any more. And now we'll never know. Bye. I'm gonna go with fire because now we're heading on to the boss of the planet. Ooh! Magman! Aww, he looks so old fashioned. Jeez. He looks so low polygonal. Oh. So I tried to be a smooth guy the first time. This is actually the second time of me fighting him, but uh, the thing is, you gotta be patient for most of these boss fights because, again, N64, slow as fuck. Now these just mash up to the lava ceiling, which will, I'm pretty sure, automatically kill you. That's the one thing I've noticed about games, especially with protagonists with hit points. Crushing always kills. Just immediately die. Yeah. I mean, so, I mean, uh, in later Kirby games, crushing doesn't automatically mean death. I mean, getting smashed between an auto-scrolling section and a hard wall is one thing, but he actually has, like, a flattened animation and all that, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Then he gets back up. So yeah. just... Oh, we're going to make a wrong warp. And phase two here is here. Uh, yeah. Oh, who disturbs my slumber? He's oh, like, all right, all right, what's that about? You want to come and explain yourself? <laughs> Excuse me, my arms hurt. How could you? Can Kirby melt? 
I, hmm. I mean, he is a rubber boy. Maybe he can't melt, but he hasn't reached his boiling point yet. I wonder if somebody can find the scientific boiling point of Kirby. You know how they have absolute zero? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is uh, zero degrees Kelvin. There's uh, no molecular movement going on because it's so cold. Yes. Well, uh, maybe there's absolute Kirby. Hmm, four million degrees Kelvin. Yeah, four million degrees, he starts to sweat. <laughs> Fine. Eight million, he starts to perspire. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he walks right into a sun and comes out unscathed, so, uh, yeah. Jesus. I mean, hell, even in Star Fox 64, you had to wash your health the entire time when you went into the goddamn sun. Maybe we just need, like, a million supernovas to try and melt Kirby. Hmm. Well, nope. we came out of a hot place. What do you think the next place is going to be? Oh, we're going to get some cold places now. Oh, wait, I think I know this place. If I know my gaming theories... I think I know this place, too, because we're living on it! Ah! Run! Run! Oh, my God! Run! <laughs> <laughs> that Okay, I, that was pretty good. Shiver Star! And if you haven't heard the theory, you look closely at the lighter parts, they look like continents, so it's believed that this is a post-apocalyptic Earth. Uh, you see, there's North America, South America, and uh, Africa, and all that. You get the idea, don't you? It's supposed to be Earth. It's Earth. It's been taken over by nuclear. We'll see you next time. Uh -huh.